what's going on everyone matt here um i hope you all had a very happy new year i hope you all had very happy holidays with your friends and family um if you haven't made someone smile today or if you haven't made someone's day you still have time to go do so so please do that when you have the opportunity to um i have one vikings related question here um and so i'm watching begrudgingly watching the final moments of this green bay minnesota game minnesota's down 41 10 with under five minutes left doesn't really matter at this point um i've made jokes on twitter before about minnesota and how they're the most entertaining team in the league because of how many one score games they'll play every week and how they many they really played over the last three years um and i mean they're 11 and 0 in one score games this year that's all a lot of fun really cool unsustainable of course but still really cool and fun um, at least they've sustained it up to this point, but that may be due to regression from the, that previous years. Anyways, whatever. Um, but, like, when they haven't played these one-score games, they look like the worst team in football. Um, they they lost 40-3 to against Dallas early in the year. They lost, they're losing 41-10 right now to Green Bay. Um, but, like, is it too much to ask at some point, like, can you win like convincingly like can you win convincingly um i mean their only nod one score win was against green bay earlier this year but even that fell a little close at times green bay squandered a few opportunities the watson drop catch um minnesota's i think stopped him a couple times on the goal line or in uh deep in their own territory like green bay still left points on the board um it was a good win obviously for minnesota at the time because it was i mean first game of the season you want to open the season on a good mark but like it feels like within these last, I don't know, three, four years, Minnesota just hasn't had many convincing wins. And, like, as a fan, for a friend, I'm asking, can you please just, like, win a convincing game or at least a couple convincing games to make yourselves not look like a bunch of babbling idiots? I'm not babbling. That's mean. That's mean to say about a 12-win team. But, like, their point differential after this game is probably, like, negative, like, what, 20, 25, something like that? I don't know what it's going to be. I really don't care what it's going to be, but it's not good. It's not good for a 12-win team. Probably the worst ever. Probably close to the worst ever. Like, can you at least win a few of these? Like, can you at least get, like, I mean, with this Minnesota Vikings defense, yeah, it hasn't been good all year. It's not it's not crazy to admit that it's a obje pretty objectively honest take i mean the secondary is young and experienced out outside of patrick peterson and harrison smith and even those two are past their prime um the scheme that donatel's put in just hasn't worked this year i don't know if it's the scheme it's the players what it is but like it just the defense has been bad this year the passers has been decent at times the run defense has been below average to mediocre all season it hasn't been that great um but like the defense and just in general hasn't been good. So what, Minnesota, what Green Bay is doing to Minnesota right now and what Dallas has done to Green Bay earlier in the year, that's not probably not going to happen where they just allow three points and score 40 or whatever the case is. But like, can you at least have a game where it's like, oh, Minnesota won like 38 to 21 or something like that, like to where it's like, oh, this is like a, actually a respectable win. Not that their other wins haven't been as respectable, but like they, they, it's always like the fourth, the late fourth quarter comebacks that you're just kind of sitting on thin ice for. It's like, yeah, those are fun as a fan, obviously, when that happens in the moment. But, like, when you look at it in weeks past, it's like, okay, like, I really wish this team could have just made me relax a little bit. I mean, the Minnesota Vikings aren't ever going to make a fan relax, obviously. But, like, at least not where I'm sitting, where my heart's not beating through my chest, or I'm not having a heart attack for three, two, three quarters. Like, can you at least have a win where it's, like, a 17 20 point 21 point 24 point victory or something like that to where like at this point i'm really asking for it against anyone i mean i know next week minnesota might sit at starters because it might be out of the two seed but i don't think it also wants to relinquish the two seed to san francisco who's trailing him and who looks like the second best team in the nfc right now behind philly maybe even the best team in the nfc but like my point is my question is is it too much to ask to at least have a convincing one at some point like a really convincing win um i haven't gone back and look at it because at this point right now i don't care but it just doesn't feel like they've had many within the last three four years and it, like i'm almost annoyed at this point i'm almost annoyed at this point at some point with the minnesota i get it you can't trust them 
um, right now, especially. But like, you, it, it's hard to ever trust the Minnesota Vikings, whether it's the special teams, the offense, the defense, the offensive line, the secondary, whatever the case is. At some point or another, when you need though, when you when you need one or multiple of those things to step up, they oftentimes don't step up because that's just the Minnesota Vikings. That's the history of the Minnesota Vikings going back to the Gary Anderson missed field goal, the Blair Walsh missed field goal, um, the NFC Championship in 17. I, I've never talked about that before, but like at some point, like you, you're just like, it's hard to trust. I get it. I don't really trust them right now either, but just in general, it's just hard to trust them. But like, can you at least give me something to like, Give me a victory where it's like, this is a good, this is like an awesome victory. There's been plenty of awesome victories this year. Um, the Buffalo victory was awesome. The Indianapolis comeback was cool, even though the Colts weren't that good. But like, that's been awesome. Um, they've had, they've had multiple different victories this year where it's like, okay, that was like a good win. But like, I want like a good, good, like, give me a multi-score win against a respectable opponent. That's all I'm asking because it just doesn't – it just feels like it's been non-existent in a while in part because of the defense, in part because of lapses offensively with Cousins and whether well, it's the offensive line or whatever the case is. But it's like just, just – I'm, I'm, I'm begging at this point because this is right now what I'm watching. Today's game obviously, but like – the one-score games, they're only so sustainable, as we've seen over the last three years. Minnesota's lost a bunch of them over the previous two years. They've, they're they winning them this year. Thank goodness gracious. Um, but I'm getting, I guess, I'm, I don't know if I'm getting greedy or whatever, but I'm just, just asking for a favor.